Hello and welcome to hearingbox.com. Today we will be learning more about Signia Pure Charge and Go AX. We will be learning more about its features, its pros and cons, so that you get a better understanding if you would like to go ahead with this product. So let's get started. The flagship model of Augmented Experience Platform, which is also known as AX Platform, launched in May 2021. This Pure Charge & Go AX has the following features. It has Android and iOS streaming. So whatever you hear on your mobile can be streamed directly into your mobile phone. Second, uh, it has dual processors. These processors can process speech and environment noises separately. More on this in the further slides. The other feature is hands-free calling on selected iOS devices. And the fourth feature is three different levels of technology. So it comes in 3AX, 5AX and 7AX models, which has varying levels of technology, varying levels of channels and varying features. 3AX is the bottom most model and 7AX is a top most model. Other features include own voice processing 2, auto eco shield, E2E wireless 4.0 and cross compatibility. It will also be compatible with Telecoil models and 312 models. It has 60% reduction in binaural latency, 22% increase in rechargeable battery runtime, and increased input dynamic range. So all of these features have been compared with the previous X platform. Now we'll be, we'll be learning more about the key features of the Signia Pure Charge & Go AX model. The first key feature is Android and iOS streaming compatibility. It is Signia's first Android compatible device. The audio streaming for these devices, these hearing aids is achieved via ASHA protocol. ASHA stands for audio streaming for hearing aids. This protocol has been developed by Google so that it can be compatible with hearing aids. The list of different compatible Android devices are given are shared in the description below you can go through it and check if your phone is compatible with pure charge and go ax in this you need to know that the microphones do not act as an input while talking on the phone so you will have to pick up the phone and speak directly in your phone while the audio from your phone will be streamed onto your hearing, hearing aids. If you want to enable hands-free calling, then you need to buy an additional device which is called a Streamline Mic. This has to be purchased separately and it can also act as a microphone. So for example, if a speaker is standing around 5, five feet away from you or 10 feet away from you, you can keep the a microphone, keep the Streamline Mic on his desk and the audio from that streamline mic will be directly streamed into your hearing aid. The next feature we will be talking about is augmented focus. So as I said before, there are two separate processors for processing sound. The first processor is used for understanding what you want to hear. Do you want to hear conversations? Do you want to hear your friends, family? So the first processor will understand this. The second processor is used to process the surrounding noise. This will allow the user to concentrate on what he wants or rather what he wants to hear from his surroundings. The next major feature is rechargeability. It is built on lithium ion rechargeable batteries. There are two versions of it. 
there is telecoil version whose battery life is up to 36 hours there is non telecoil version whose battery life is up to 24 hours now you need to understand that streaming uh, into your phone can lead to additional battery drain so if you are streaming for say 2 to 3 hours in a day the battery life will be severely reduced there are three different chargers available for these Signia AX devices as per your preference. These chargers are standard charger, portable charger and dry and clean charger. The standard charger is uh, the normal charger with a wire where you can put your hearing aids inside and the hearing aids will charge. The portable charger is a small box where you can put your hearing aids inside and while it charges you can travel with the portable charger so there is a mobility factor which comes in with a portable charger the third type of charger is a dry and clean charger what this charger does is absorbs all the moisture in your hearing aid while recharging it and this helps uh, with the longevity of the hearing aid the next feature we'll be talking about is the extended dynamic range the input signals which the hearing aid gets is analog and that signal gets converted into digital signal. When this signal is loud it usually affects the sound quality and you will hear a muffled sound. So what extended dynamic range does is it increases the dynamic range of the input to 117 decibels. So till 117 decibels whatever sounds which comes into your hearing aid will will be processed into a high quality sound for your ears. It is very useful if you enjoy music. It can be classical music, it can be concerts, it can be music on your phone. Now, once, you, once this feature is used, the sounds won't be muffled. It will be more clear and more natural. The next feature we'll be talking about is Own Voice Processing 2.0. This feature is used to separate processing for your own voice. So uh, whenever you wear a hearing aid, your own voice will sound a little bit robotic or unnatural, which is a cause of concern for many of the hearing aid users. So with OVP 2.0, the device, the hearing aid recognizes the user's voice and minimizes it, adjusts it to ensure comfort. This is only possible when you have two hearing aids with directional capabilities as OVP requires four microphones to activate it. Acoustic motion sensors. These sensors usually recognizes when you are in motion and modify the automatic directionality of the hearing aids. So normally what normal hearing aids do is when you are in motion it tries to hear what's in front of you but with this feature with acoustic motion sensors you can also hear uh, if a person is talking from the left side or the right side so it will help you to be aware of your surroundings. This feature will recognize your movement and align the signal processing accordingly. It is beneficial usually for those who stay in group even if the person participates in a group conversation. This, this feature will allow you to hear important conversations happening all around you. The next feature is Signia Assistant. Signia Assistant is available for Android and iOS. The artificial intelligence makes adjustment to your hearing aid when it is paired to your phone. It will adjust according to your preferences which you have used before when it is in a particular environment. So for example, if you are watching our television, your mobile, your Signia Assistant will recognize that you are watching television and automatically switch to a TV mode. Another example which we could take is if you are in a crowded place such as a restaurant 
and you had made some changes to your hearing aid the last time you visited it. The AI will recognize it and make similar changes so that you can be comfortable with your hearing aid. The next feature is Earwear 3.0. For pure AX RIC devices, receivers, cables and plug system has been redesigned. The cables are reinforced so that it will be durable. Usually the receiver, uh, we have faced many complaints where the receivers break. So this reinforced cable will ensure more durability. Also new tips and sleeves are introduced for wide range of your shapes and sizes. The next feature is tinnitus features. Signal devices usually offer multiple signals, multiple therapies for tinnitus complaints. This includes ocean wave sounds, white noise and pink noise. Signia also provides customized notch therapy. To understand this better, it's best to speak to your audiologist. Now we will be looking into pros of Signia Pure Charge & Go AX. So as we have seen, it, has, it is Android compatible, it has redesigned receivers and cables, it is available in multiple power levels according to your hearing loss, it is also available in high power. So if you have more hearing loss, say 85 to 90 dB, high power will be useful for you. Own voice processing 2.0 is available for better processing of your own voice and better acceptance of your own hearing aid. It has also improved quality of loud sounds and music due to extended dynamic range. It has an excellent battery life on single charge. There are three different charges available as per usage and convenience. There are non-rechargeable versions also available for uh, this particular model. Cross and telecoil functionality is available. What is cross? Cross is if a ear is deaf, you can wear cross device on one ear and this hearing aid on the other ear. So the cross device will be connected with this hearing aid and it will send the audio input to this hearing aid. So that you can, even if you are deaf from one ear, you can hear your surroundings properly. What is Telecoil? Telecoil is a system which is used in theatres or classes where a loop runs across the, the facility or the setup and whenever a speaker is speaking something, you can hear it directly on your hearing aid. The next feature is tinnitus features which includes notch therapy also. Now we will be talking about cons of Pure Charge & Go AX. It has no hands-free calling. Without, so for hands-free calling you will have to buy an additional accessory which is Streamline Mic. It has no tap feature. The tap, the tap features are used by competitors to just tap on the hearing aid which will, automatically, uh, which will automatically connect with your mobile phone and start streaming. There is no way to start or stop streaming via the hearing aid. The next con is, there is no pediatric options. There is no battery door locks. So if, you, uh, if this hearing aid is given to a child, the battery door can be easily opened and damaged by the child. There is no ear hooks. So what ear hooks do is latch onto your ears, the child's ears, so that it does, the hearing aid does not fall off. But this option is not available for Signia Pure Charging Go AX. The next option, the next con is that the tinnitus features cannot be adjusted by the wear. So whatever is default in the tinnitus features, only that could be played out. These are the features, pros and cons of Pure Charging Go AX. Now, if you are looking to buy Pure Charging Go AX, I will let you know how you could go ahead and purchase it. The best way to purchase a hearing aid is via an RCI certified audiologist. Now, if you cannot find an RCI certified audiologist in your vicinity, 
you can use this contact details and call us we could arrange a meeting with an audiologist so that they can guide you properly for a hearing aid so thank you for listening to this video i hope this video helps you to decide which hearing aid you should use for your pulse i hope that this video helps you decide if this hearing aid is right for you or not thank you